Hello friends, in this video we will see action link helper in MVC3 Razor. Now the action link helper renders a hyperlink, basically an anchor tag to another controller action. Now the action link helper uses the routing API under the hood to generate the URL and it basically calls another action method and that action method is rendered on the UI. So let's see through the application how we can achieve this. Now here we have a simple MVC3 Razor application wherein we have created two forms which are rendered using two action result methods that is index and login so index method renders a register form and the login action method renders the login form so now suppose I want to have want to have a user a facility that after registering for the application I want the user to have a link below the register form which will redirect them to the login page so in that case I know I need to create one anchor tag now to create that anchor tag I can use action link helper which accepts the text which is shown on the UI so I am saying go to login and second parameter it accepts is the action name so login which is in the current context so if I refresh the page you can see an hyperlink render and if you check its HTML it basically renders an anchor tag which is pointing to home controller and login action method so now if you click this link the login page will be rendered now if you again want to go to the register page from login you can create another hyperlink at login view which will point to the register view and in this case our action method is index so if I refresh the login view or uh, anchor tag will be rendered which will redirect it to us to the register view so we can go back and forth using this so now action link method has few overloads now the third now we, are, we can also pass the route values now suppose suppose my action method that is the login in my case accepts one ID parameter so now I can also pass the parameters that is the route values so to pass the route value I say new id equal to the value now this id and the parameter name should match otherwise the action method will not call or will not get call and will not and finally will not be rendered so now if I click on go to login I can see the id file is passed to the login method and I can use this id to do whatever operations and number I want and then render the view so this is how we can pass route values using action link methods and we can also set some HTML attributes so in that case we can pass any class level or helper level attributes for the control for now I am setting the style and I am saying I want my font family to be Comic Sans MS. Now, if I refresh my view, you can see the font has changed to Comic Sans MS. So, this is the basic way how you can render a action or an anchor using the action link helper. We have other overloads wherein we can pass route value dictionary that is multiple route values to the action methods then we can also specify the controller name now if your action method lies in the same controller then you don't need to specify the controller name and if your action method lies in the separate controller then you have to mention the controller controller name as well and you can also pass the i dictionary html attributes wherein you can pass multiple html attributes and the rest are the combinations of the overloads we saw so this is how you can use action link HTML helper to render anchor tag which redirects to different action methods. Thank you friends.